Thank you to everybody who has sent us your pictures and videos from the severe thunderstorms that have rolled through here this afternoon. This is a picture from Sid Salmons of some very heavy rain. Uh, you'll notice uh, some pretty nasty clouds where Sid took this picture. Of course, this was sent to us through Pinnit. That is the best way for you to get us your pictures and videos. This picture from Kelly Diamond in Willis of quarter size hail. Confirm reports of quarter size hail in a couple of locations in Floyd County from earlier today. Now, this weather authority alert day is scheduled to expire close to about 8 p.m. May go a little bit later, may be canceled a little bit earlier, but around 8 may go as late as 8.30 or 9. The what of this weather alert day is because of the fact that we're going to have severe thunderstorms and the chance for some damaging wind and also some hail, not to mention heavy rain, thunder and lightning, and maybe even some spin in our atmosphere. I want to show you what we're seeing right here, right now here on the radar, and you'll notice our first stop will take us to where Connor is right now in Danville. It is raining very, very heavily in and around Danville City, right along Highway 58, Highway 29, Highway 41, Highway 86, seeing some very heavy rain right over Danville. So Danville, uh, you can certainly see uh, in the upper left hand corner of your screen, our storm chaser, and you'll see exactly what Connor is seeing in Southern Pennsylvania County right now. And then as we zoom the picture out just a little bit, I do want to show you what we're seeing out across uh, portions of West Virginia, where we are also seeing some pretty nasty thunderstorms at this point. Uh, we are seeing uh, severe weather out across portions of Mercer and Summers County in West Virginia. This cell is uh, was had a uh, and it still might. Chris, is this a little small red box right there? That is indeed a tornado warning. Yes, we still have a tornado warning for portions of West Virginia. Uh, this uh, tornado warning in effect here uh, for about the next 12 minutes or so. These showers and thunderstorms are pushing to the east. So next in line will be portions of Allegheny and Craig County, and that will likely happen for us here over the course of the next uh, maybe 15 to 30 minutes. Again, its system is to the west of us right now, but it will be entering the Commonwealth closer to about seven o'clock or so. Chris. Hey there, Jeff. Yeah, so what we're going to do now is kind of transition to more of what's to ex uh, what you should expect as we go through the next few hours. And you see that storms are pretty scattered for us, but where they do develop, they're feeding off of that obnoxious humidity out there. So the main threat with any kind of storm that does develop over the next three hours will be the potential for localized wind damage. It's after 8 or 9 p.m. at the threat for any kind of strong to severe thunderstorms will go down. So we at least get a restful night's sleep. But over the course of the next two hours, or so make sure you're staying connected with our weather app. That's where we'll send occasional push alerts. If you indeed do fall under an additional warning, do want to also let you know tornado watch is in effect until 9 p.m. That just means that conditions are favorable if a storm does develop by tomorrow. We'll turn breezy or you see the wind gusts in excess of 20 miles per hour. That's not going to be related to any kind of thunderstorms, but at least a little breezier behind this storm system heading into tomorrow. Now, does that breeze warm us up, cool us down? We'll finish things up with Jeff here for uh, the rest of our forecast. Yeah, it's it, temperatures tomorrow, not as hot as they were today. Keep in mind before these showers and thunderstorms rolled in, many of us were in the 80s, even some lower 90s temperatures tomorrow in the 70s and 80s, and the hot spot will only be the mid to upper 80s across South Boston. For the day on Wednesday, going to have a slight chance for a couple of thunder showers late in the day, but most of us are still dry on hump day. Temperatures a little hotter on Wednesday, reaching the upper 80s out across Danville and South Boston, mid to upper 80s, Roanoke and Lynchburg in the mountains here in the 70s and 80s. Here we go. Extended forecast showing a better chance for showers and some thunderstorms on Thursday. Chance rain goes down Friday. Hit or miss activity for us Saturday, Sunday and Monday with temperatures back into the lower 90s.